Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video is a day three of our seven day foundation series. And today's foundation is the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. So if you wanna see how this look, how this wore, did I get the right shade and all of that, then make sure you keep on watching. But first, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button so you're notified every time I post some videos because I post daily and you don't wanna miss it. And I'm out of here. Peace out. Bye guys. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is day three of our seven day foundation series and let's jump right into it. I have primed my face. I decided to prime my face with the same products all week. So that way every foundation gets the same amount of love. So it's the NYX Blur and the Secure the Blur One Size Primer. Okay, today's foundation, I have always wanted to try this foundation but never got around to it and then they took it out of store and I think now you can only purchase it online. And when you're probably saying, I don't what foundation are you talking about? I'm talking about the Cover Effects Power Play Foundation. I got the shade D3. Have no idea if this is my shade. I ordered it directly from the Cover FX website during Memorial Day when they were having a sale. It was $44, but once again, it was on sale. And this is a 1.01 fluid ounce, so the standard size for a foundation. So let's see a little bit about this. The iconic full coverage foundation lets skin sink in. Our weightless breathable formula for black provides long wearing coverage. Ideal for blemish prone skin, discoloration, mature skin, oily skin, sensitive skin, redness prone skin, and large pores. It has a natural matte finish. Okay, how to use, shake well before use, build coverage as needed, follow with concealer as desired. So yeah, it looks like it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 18, 19, 20. It has 20 shades. I know back, like when I first started watching YouTube, you know, along the way, everybody used to talk about this. And it seemed like it used to be in a square packaging, but this is how the packaging looks now. Plastic tube, I love when brands just do plastic glass is okay glass is cute and everything but i don't think like glass is travel friendly so i say shake well so let's shake it up and pray this is my shade because y'all know how i do okay so let's see this is how the shade looks promising it looks promising yeah, I know I don't like to do that, so I'm going to just put it on the back of my hand today because I don't like to just drop it on my face because I feel like it can be anywhere and that's around with me. So let's take one side. Start from the center of the face and work our way out. This is a bronzer brush, not a foundation brush. <laughs> it's square and short, and that's why I like to use it as a foundation brush. It's lightweight, it's not like a thick consistency, but it's not overly runny either. I'm quite sure at this point, a lot of my um, buddies on here have already tried this foundation. I'm just the only one that's real late to the game. <laughs> real late to the game. Okay. Hey, Nana, why are you so late? Mm, the coverage is immaculate. I have really been in, because I have mature skin, I'm older. I have been into a lightweight foundations that can offer the maximum coverage, you know, full, a high medium coverage, if not full coverage, but still have that lightness to it. I just feathered, weightless, no heavy skin. Yeah. Okay, so we did one side. So foundation side already, no foundation. You can clearly see the difference. The skin is looking plump and juicy, and this says that it's a natural matte finish. I feel like the cover, the color is do 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 do. But it just seems like I remember like if I were to ever get a foundation from them, it was supposed to be like G one hundred. So I don't know if they still sell that foundation. I don't know. In my head, I'm just thinking G one hundred. Come on now, you gotta go to work. Okay. So yeah, and let's do the other side. It's 
So y'all see that mark right there? Let's see what it do. I enjoy, why am I holding my arm up? <laughs> I enjoy any foundation that I don't have to color correct with. You know, it used to be a time back in the day where you needed to color correct. If you had a, a mark in order for the mark not to show through the foundation. But nowadays, I feel like you don't have to if you don't want to. I know I focus it mainly around my mouth area because that's where I have the most discoloration. And it did cover the mark. So this is how the face is looking. Still a little radiant, even though it says that put the brushes back. Even though they said it's a soft matte, I feel like I'm still a little radiant, which for me, it's a bonus, okay? So let's go ahead and take our sponge just to pat it in. Because sometimes uh, brushes can leave streaks and we don't want a streaky face. Never that. And I think the coverage is good, right? Same concealer we'll be using all week is the Nude Stick and Nude 8. Y'all, I got stuff everywhere. I be trying to be straight to the point with my videos. I feel like for the most part I am when I can find stuff. Because I've been using it all week. And look, I was trying to do an eye look today. And I needed this because it was supposed to be a colorful look. And I couldn't find it. But it's in the bag. Okay, come on. Where are you? There it is. New State Concealer Nude 8. You know, we're going to speed through this part right here because I see me doing it a million times. So let's speed through this. And I'll use my e.l.f. Camo in Rich Cocoa Concealer, Matte Concealer, to contour it. So let's go ahead and breeze through this. Now I'll take some of my Sasha Buttercup to set this concealer. And I'm pushing it in, not making. Make right, sure so I get the side of my nose. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this Elf blush in sight, but to use it as a bronzer. It's a kind of brown. Okay, y'all know the drill. I'm going to go to my liners, lips, lashes, and I'll be back. 
All right, guys, let's go ahead and just powder away. This is another one that I'm not going to set. I feel like it is very self-setting. You know my skin feels like where you could kind of almost tell when your foundation has set itself. And I'm going to spray with some of my NYX Bear With Me spray. I'll be making sure I get everything. <laughs> okay, let me let this dry and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, we have the completed to look using the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. You know, we're going to do the wear test while we're at work today. Do the wear test and I'll come back and show you all how it's looking. Right now, my skin feels lightweight, breathable. The color is good. And I can blend out my lipstick. I have no complaints. <laughs> no complaints. So, yeah. You know, I'm not really a fan of MAC foundations but this one isn't a tight one this wasn't this one doesn't feel drying this doesn't make my face look dry and like makes my pores show so I'm liking this so yeah we'll wear this and then I'll be back but right now it's good so see you in a minute peace out all right guys we have a little bit of natural light it's been over 12 hours so the light is slowly fading, so let me hurry up. This is how my skin is looking. Y'all know the normal areas I would be a little, I'm going to say have a little sheen would be my T-zone, which is this area straight down here. And as you can see, I have it. Before I blot, let me get up close so you can see. Hopefully y'all can see like real good. And I'm going to go ahead and blot. Okay, this is how the skin is looking. We're back to normal. The Cover FX Power Play Foundation, back to normal. You know, I didn't set it today, and the only thing that I really noticed about this foundation, let's just say, if I'm missing, like, you see my nails and how light they are? Like, if I'm missing, like, rub my face or not something, I saw that it would be on my fingernails, so I feel like it's not transfer proof. So, next time we try this out, I'm going to try to set it with some of my RCMA no color powder just to see how that will go. But as an overall foundation, the look, the feel, the wear, top notch. Even though I'm not a matte girl, this one doesn't bother me. But the only reason why I say I'm really not a matte girl because I feel like it makes my pores right here stand out more than like a dewy uh, foundation or radiant foundation would do so yeah drop down and let me know if you tried this foundation and if so what are your thoughts i am out of here i'll talk to you guys later peace out y'all